did the same to the top part so I used the lid to make the circle and also used the pair of scissors to cut the foam I'll be using contour glue for this project so I had to apply the contour glue on the bucket and after that I attached my foam on the bucket Contour glue works best for this project so I had to use this but if you have any other adhesive glue you can also use it. I prefer using contour even though it's smelly it's super affordable and also makes your work easier. For those who are new to my channel please please remember to subscribe and also click on the notification bell so as to get notified whenever I post a new video. So after gluing the bottom part, I went ahead and glued the upper part. As you can see, I'll be leaving a space in between the top part and the bottom part for my design. I'll be doing the same thing on the top part. So I'll be adding some forms on top of the upper part of the bucket. So I'll just use the foam that I had. I never wanted to buy another foam. So I had to cut into smaller pieces and glue it, glue it down on top of the bucket using my contour glue. Once it was ready, I took it and put on my Ottoman. So you have to be careful while doing this to avoid tearing your material. So I'll be using this gold reflective paper and the poster board to make the decorative part that I'll be using at the center part of my Ottoman. So I had to take the measurements that I needed for the center part in which was 3 inches. And then I used a pair of scissors to cut it to the size. So I'll be using this poster board. Since it has a smooth finish whenever you put the reflective paper on top and I'll be using it to decorate my Ottoman.
Once it was ready, this how I'll be fixing it on my Ottoman, it will be on the center part of this Ottoman. So I'll be using hot glue to fix it on my Ottoman. I prefer using hot glue because it's way better for this part because the poster board it's paper like so it will hold well on top of the material using the hot glue. So I had to make sure the poster board fits perfectly on the space that I had left. I had to make sure I tighten it and then I glued it down with the hot glue by tightening it so to give me the look that I want for the Ottoman so I want the upper part to be a bit bigger than the lower part so I'll be securing the fabric on the buckets using some hot glue so I had to pull it to give it a tight finish look so you have to make sure you pull the fabric so as to smooth and also to give you a good finish look as you can see how it has turned out the lower part I used the lining to cover the bucket I just tuck it on the On the bucket, just using hot glue, just as I did with the fabric. And so I decided to make two of them. You can see how beautiful they are. You can't say these are buckets, guys. I just love how they have turned out. And finally, this is the end look, guys. What do you think? I just love how these two beautiful Ottoman has turned out. They're so pretty in my living room. As I have told you in my previous video, I'll be changing my living room into a gray theme. So slowly by slowly, I'll be changing my living room into the gray theme that I want. Let me know in the comment section what you think about my beautiful Ottoman. You can use it as a footrest and also it's so strong enough to support my weight as you can see. I just love how these two beautiful Ottoman has turned out. You can say these are just paint buckets turned into beautiful luxury Ottoman case. So please, please, if you like this video, remember to give me a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please, please remember to subscribe. And also click on the notification bell for new videos. Bye-bye. See you next time.